Hi besties. It's Sunday. I'm going to try to get this up today on Sunday. So happy Sunday. We're going to do a Sunday deep cleaning vlog today because I've never deep cleaned with you on YouTube. First things first, whenever I'm doing a Sunday deep clean, I wash the sheets. I'm such a firm... I've actually been washing my sheets twice a week lately, but I'm such a firm believer in order to reset your next week and go into your next week with like new clean energy. Washing your sheets is the number one way to do that. TikTok behind me so I'm really trying to multitask but these are the two detergents I use well detergent and fabric softener that I use for all my laundry now it used to just be my sheets but the combo just is so fire so this is my favorite detergent the gain moonlight breeze I love it so much it's just so good <coughs> sorry just choked and then I use mixed with that this downy calm lavender and vanilla bean this stuff is so yummy I'm really sweating because I feel like the AC messes with the audio. But I've got all my windows open to let fresh air in while I clean. And we're going to sweat through it. So I have the Dyson. I don't know which one this is. It's like a newer Dyson. I got it last year. They sent it to me actually, which was amazing. And it is so nice because I think it's the first Dyson that you can turn into a handheld. Because I used to have a handheld Dyson and a regular one. This one is a full size, but you can also turn it into a handheld. So... I'm going to vacuum my bed now, like my mattress. And then, I love Moonlight Breeze. I told you guys, this is a, like, fabric spray. So I'll spray my mattress so it just smells extra fresh. Also, I don't wash my duvet every week because I mentally could not handle putting my duvet cover on every Sunday. Like, that just, it takes the life out of me. So I wash my duvet cover every other week. So today is not duvet week. Which makes me very happy because I hate duvet week. Okay, so my personal order for no rhyme or reason, after I do bedroom, I do kitchen. Well, after I put my bedding in, basically, I do kitchen, but I always vacuum the bed first. I don't know why. So now I'm going to clean my kitchen. I just do a deep clean of the surfaces, the stove, the sink. I wipe down all the appliances. Cleo and Luna are staring at me like, who the hell are you talking to? This, if you have, I have quartz counters, I think. I, don't, I have some kind of stone counter. I don't, I don't know. All I know is... This cleaner is so good, it's my favorite. The Wyman Quartz and Stone Clean and Shine. It just, like a regular spray, I'm sweating, a regular spray leaves these counters really streaky. This doesn't. And the scent, it smells literally identical to Fruit Loops or Tricks. it's so yummy. And I just use a microfiber cloth. Uh, clean the sink, I just use down power wash and then my sink water gets so hot here that i don't even boil water anymore because it's like scalding hot so i just scrub my sink with this and then hot water it you know spray it with hot water <laughs> before i get to the counters i also have these little garbage disposal balls they're lemon scented and i put one in probably more than once a week but it just gets rid of any odor and your garbage disposal This is how I film my TikTok behind the scenes, by the way, for my TikTok. 
clean with me's and I literally have a rule that I cannot go back and watch the clips until I'm done. Otherwise, I will be like, oh my god, it looks so ugly and then just like redo it <laughs> and it gets to be insane. So now I just like film and then I edit and then I'm like, okay, have no choice, have to post it. I'm going to wipe down the stove, which is part always annoys me. But the biggest issue on the stove, and I wonder how this happens, is there's a lot of kitty fur all over the stove. The stove cleaner I use, it's heavy duty degreaser. Okay, now it's time to just wipe down all the stainless steel appliances, mainly the fridge, and these are my favorite stainless steel wipes. I don't know, I grew up using them, like my mom used them, I used them. <laughs> Wyman stainless steel wipes, they're the best. Also, I will link all of my cleaning products below. I know I get a lot of questions about what I use, but I like the stainless steel wipes. They make a spray of this too, but I found like even if you use the microfiber cloth, the spray is just a little streakier than I would like, so I always use the wipes, but they have a spray too. Got a new rug, now I'm gonna clean the cabinets. And they're like acrylic, kinda, so I just use, they're like reflective acrylic, so I use Windex, I don't know if that's appropriate, but this is my favorite Windex. It's really good. I guess it's not even Windex, that's actually, um, what's that called when a trademark becomes generic? Oh my god, I'm forgetting everything. All I know is as a brand, you really, really, really want to prevent that or you lose your trademark. Maybe it's just called becoming generic. So Windex better watch out because I just call this Windex. And you can <laughs> Surfaces are all done. This is what I use. We're gonna just wipe down the dining table now. I use this <laughs> out of breath. I use this method wood polish. It's almond scented. You're only supposed to use it on sealed wood. I'm assuming my dining table is sealed. Other, like I use this on like my coffee table too, which I'm not sure if it's sealed wood, but I like don't spray it directly on my coffee table. <laughs> the bathroom which is my least favorite part but it also means we are in the home stretch so I'm gonna clean the sink and for the sink and the shower I use soft scrub I'm just cleaning the sink Windex the mirror above the sink and a little Windex I had to install this cabinet because this bathroom came with no storage, so I'm gonna one dice this one too. This is where I keep all my makeup. And skincare. Okay, for a shower, I have this handy dandy tile shower cleaner, which lets me not get like all wet when I'm getting the shower. I have to put the stuff in the dryer. It's like a good one. This is a little angled brush that gets in the corners, and then this is the big brush I use. So first I'll go in with the big brush. Legitimately sweating like crazy, but quick intermission. I'm gonna put sheets in the dryer. These are the dryer sheets I use. The downy lavender and vanilla bean dryer sheets. We're in the final stretch before we clean 
the floors, I'm just gonna vacuum the dining chairs and the couch. Okay, so we are switching attachments now. So now I'm putting, turning this into a regular vacuum, not a handheld. And this is the wood floor attachment that I'm using first, or like any like hard floors, tile, wood, whatever. And it has a like green light on it, like a laser, so you can really see what you need to vacuum up. Before I had a vacuum that had a laser, I was not doing a good job vacuuming. That's all I will say. <laughs> I'm switching to this is a hair remover one and I feel like this one works best on rugs right now the only rug I have is in my bedroom I ordered a rug for my living room in April and it's still not here but they said it shipped or it's going to ship they said it was gonna ship last week and I haven't shipped yet <laughs> so much I would not change anything they are my angels but they really are messy but when I vacuum every single day and I empty this every single day when I vacuum my camera is gonna die so if the montage of me swiffering and steaming the floors is a little cut off I apologize but now I'm going to use my hardwood floor wait this feels like it's like almost out of liquid yeah but I'm gonna use my swiffer foot jet I have the hard floor pods and the hard floor solution in here for the bathroom I use this Bissell steam mop I used to use this on like my hardwood floors in New York too but apparently you're not supposed to I have these little like Bissell scent things and I reuse them like I don't throw them away after one use I would say I give them like five or ten uses because it's just like scent for scent it's not really for anything else and then these pads I just got off Amazon I don't even think they're by Bissell but like they're just extra ones so every time I steam I just throw the old one in the wash and put a new one in I just add like a little hot water this steam mop I almost didn't get because it has bad reviews like claiming that this thing leaks but I've had it for like a year and a half two years now and I've never had a problem with it so cleaned in like perfect timing today because now everything's done and sheets are dry so I'm gonna put the bedding back on the bed trash out because yeah you can't go into a new week with last week's trash deep clean is over it feels so good my apartment feels so fresh but i am so sweaty and sticky it's like 3 30 right now and i want to get both my tiktok and youtube up today on sunday and tiktok the cleaning bugs are just taking like an hour to edit they're like my longest editing and filming that i do for TikTok, it takes like an hour to an hour and a half, and then YouTube will probably take me like an hour, hour and a half too. So I'm gonna aim to start editing at four. TikTok first, YouTube after, and get them both up today. And I'm gonna go dip in the pool right now because I'm so sticky. I'm gonna take like a 15 minute break, dip in the pool, and read a few pages of my book. 
Um, and then come back in, light some candles. That's my favorite part after a deep clean is just like sitting with a cold drink on the couch and lighting candles. There's like no better feeling to me. So I'm gonna pull in on that, but I'm gonna go dip in the pool right now because I'm so sticky. Love you. I will see you tomorrow.